Hello, good people. Hope everyone is doing well. Hope everyone has recovered from Tuesday. And those who know, you know. Um, this is not that type of channel, so I'm not going to get into that. But I hope no matter who you voted for, that's your, that's your choice, that's your business. But I know a lot of people are somber and upset and sad or whatever the feelings may be. But I just wanted to say my husband and I were talking about it. And y'all, I know I look a mess. I'm in cleaning mode. It's the holidays. So you know how you try to clean and throw out and dust and all that kind of stuff. So I'm in the process of doing that. So I know I look crazy. But that's okay. We, 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 we girls, right? So getting back to what I was saying. At the beginning of every year, I try to adopt some things just for me. I've been stopped trying to do resolutions because as we all know, sometimes for me, they don't work. So I just try to give me a word, like a word. Um, something encouraging from scripture and then just some uh, my own personal little, you know, encouragement for myself. But in the beginning of the year, I, I told my husband, I said, even when I'm losing, I'm winning. So even when I'm losing, I'm winning. Tying that back to the scripture, tying this back to everything that happened. I'm going to say something, we're done with that. Um, the word tells us that. All things work together for good of those who love the Lord, those who call them to accord, called according to his purpose, right? If all things work together for the good of those who love him, that means that even when things are not going in our favor or what seems or appears to be in our favor, we're still winning. So that's why I say even when I'm losing, even when I'm losing, even when I lose, in the end, I'm still winning. So we're still winning. I'm not sad. I'm not upset. I'm not. Julia, it is what it is. Um, so we move. So yes, yeah, so I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you are feeling good. I hope you are energized about, you know, about the holidays, all the upcoming festivities and all the things that come along with this time of year. So I'm just cleaning up y'all because this place is, I have so much stuff, things I need to throw away, stuff that's junk, stuff that, you know, we just have things that we need to, I need to get rid of. So I just thought I'd bring y'all in here while I'm doing it and just talk to y'all. And listen, thank y'all so much for all of the love on my last video. Thank you so much for that. Thank you for all of the comments and the engagement because y'all know I live for a good engagement, honey. I live for a good comment. I live. That's how I connect with y'all. So thank y'all so much for that. To all of my new people, thank y'all so much, girl. Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome to the crazy life. Welcome to the crazy life. Thank y'all so much for just subscribing. That means a lot to me. I really appreciate it. So if you're new here, honey, welcome. If you're returning, girl, welcome back. So yeah, we're just doing a little bit of cleaning up. Um, I told y'all in the last video, if you saw it, that I was going to show you guys the picture um, that I picked up at the last haul when I was like, y'all, I still cannot, I cannot believe the quality of those pictures. Now listen, I cannot believe the quality of those pictures that they had in Ross. Raw honey, clutches, pearls, shocked, mind blown, honey. I already can't see, honey, vision 4040. I cannot believe, I know it's 2020, no one got to put it in the comments, just saying how much I was out of focus when I saw the pictures because I couldn't believe they had them. The pictures that they had, y'all, were so very good. I don't know if they got a truck that broke down from another store and honey, Ross had their people side the road and they scooped them up and bought them to Ross. I don't know how they got there. I don't care. But when I tell y'all, and, and listen, another little, little nugget, little tip too. I know sometimes at the end of the year they have a bunch of crap stuff in the different sections of the store, clothing, home decor, because they're trying to get rid of things at the end of the year for new inventory. So normally I don't even look for certain things around this time of year because I know it's just all the picked over stuff because everybody is stocking for holiday stuff, right? But look in your home decor sections because sometimes you can find some hidden treasures and some little nuggets like I did um, the other day because those pictures i gotta go back up there and get that um well i told y'all it was a 40 by 50. that picture was stunning it looked just like a picture i'll try to find the picture that's at restoration hardware and insert it somewhere in the video so y'all can see and that picture's like 1450 1450 they had it in there for 70 dollars and uh, even even if it wasn't ross just for a 40 by 50 we all know in, t in um, home goods that would be they love the 198, they love the 249. So I would say between 190 and $250 just for the size alone. But it was a beautiful picture and it was well done. It wasn't like, you know, the cheap ones where it's just like, uh, 
it's a canvas but it looks like they put like they put an overlay like it's a it was a, another piece of fabric and they put it on this was actually like a canvas art actually embedded in the canvas it was really really good quality so check out your um your Ross if you're going to be updating any spaces next year or because the prices are so good just to have just to switch out to do a little refresh I was so Honey, I'm done. Honey, shut your mouth. Shut my mouth because I couldn't believe it. Honey, Ross came through. But yeah, so that's all I'm doing here. Cleaning up a little bit. Um, I'm going to turn the camera around though and show you guys the picture. So I'll be right back. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, y'all. This is the beautiful. Look at this picture. Look at this gorgeous, gorgeous picture now let me go and show you guys the rugs that I got because right now we have black honey we have black ones here but I've had these for a while so I'm throwing these away I bought um actually I bought the rugs maybe three weeks ago but I haven't put them in here yet because I knew I was just trying to get everything together but this picture right here the colors okay the gray the black the grayish the beigey gray the darker, taupey gray. It's just it's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. Honey, look at this little lion demon, right? Look at this little lion, this little lion thing right here. Don't pay her no mind, honey. She's a liar. She's a, 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 a she doesn't tell the truth. <laughs> honey, she tells, she tells the truth. Um, but yeah, I'm getting back to what I was saying. The rugs that I picked up have these same colors in them so it's gray beige matter of fact let me stop the camera and i'll run and get them really really quick and show you so when i saw this picture i'm like oh my god th this is this is the perfect picture so let's see so you guys can get an idea i love big art i think big art looks first of all it looks way much more expensive when it's bigger larger scale I don't know if y'all can see this because I can't hold the camera in this too. Actually, I'm on my phone. But this is, oh my God. Oh, this thing is heavy. But yeah. I'm going to pull the camera back so you guys can actually see it. If it were actually up on the wall. Okay, guys, I'm back. And just to show you these. This is coming off so you guys can see. It's like a beige. It literally has all of these colors in there. It's dark in here because it's late, so it's not coming off as clear, but it has all the colors in there. There you go. You can kind of see it when I do it like that. Again, I had these for about three or four weeks and I saw them and actually I got these from Walmart believe it or not um, better homes and gardens I said oh I love the pattern I like the gray it had the beige you know everything I liked and when I saw this picture I mean look at that I like it so it's the little things that make us happy right so yeah so I'm gonna get all that situated situated in here so yeah, guys, that's just what I'm doing. Nothing much. Just cleaning up my bathroom. I just want to pick up the camera really quick. Say hi to my ladies. Say hey, how y'all doing? Um, so let me finish up knocking this out really quick. And I'll pick you guys back up later. All right. Hey, y'all. Oh, happy Friday. I hope y'all had a great day. Listen. After I cleaned up my bathroom last night and I set up late, I always set up too late this morning. I did this. Roll. Was um the not look up this morning. Nevertheless, we powered through Friday. Came home, took my shower. <sighs> now we're here. I am so glad. I remember. When I was younger, me and my best friend, that's before 
when we used to come home for college during the summer or in the summer before we went back to school. And even after, when we had finished and we would get together, I mean, we would hang out all night and not hang out all night, let me rephrase that. Just have a good time. You could stay up late, this, that, and the third. And even when my husband and I got married and got together, you know, pre-children, all the fun things you used to do. But now, a good night for me, when I'm at work on Friday, I'm mentally breaking down, finishing out my work about 12 o'clock, processing, mentally breaking down 1.30. 1 to 30, my mind is already home, although I'm physically still at the office, still at work. <sighs> a good night for me, honey, is a movie. Say less. Wait a minute, let me go ahead on there. Martinelli's Honey Sparkling Cider. Just in case anybody wants to know. So yeah, a good Friday night for me is coming home, me and my husband relaxing, getting a nice shower, maybe catching a movie. Just relaxing because I love to be at home you know, it's just one of my favorite places to be. Don't get me wrong, I like, like I said, I like, um, going. So I am so happy that I don't have to get up early in the morning and go anywhere. I don't mind getting up early, I just don't have to go anywhere. So if you're one of them chicks that work from home or you don't work or you can stay home, I don't mind the working part. Honey, the commutes, the traffic, the people. That's the problem, honey. The working, that's not the problem. And I've never turned away from a check. But um, <laughs> getting there and the people, baby. The whole problem. So this week at the office. <laughs> come in, honey. Let, let's, let's talk. One of my coworkers, well, no, because it's not in my department. So she's not a coworker. Somebody that works there. Let me be perfectly clear with my words. I think old girl got fired because she called one of the ladies there a Oreo. <laughs> Told her, <laughs> now I know y'all probably say, oh, that's not that bad. Baby, in 2024, you have to read the room. You have to read the room. You have to watch what you say. No matter what color you are, you have to be very mindful of people's gender, of people's self-awareness of what they want to be referred to as. The comments that we make, because you could be defending somebody, you have to be very, 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 very careful about that, especially in a, uh, a professional office, set, any setting, but especially when you have people that's on top of the books about what goes on, especially when you're being regulated by Dick and all those other people, and people can always put in agreements, whatever. You have to watch what you say. She called the lady an Oreo, honey, and told her why she didn't dress up for Halloween as an Oreo, and of course... My friend was, she was offended. You, you, I just don't understand. So when they wrote everything up, <laughs> she told him, well, she didn't think it was a problem because they talk like that all the time. Lie. But why people lie? No, baby, you said what you shouldn't have said. You got caught. Somebody called you out on it. You were surprised because you're not used to that. You're 64 something years old and there was a problem. Honey, I told her today, uh, your bags will be packed. Come and pick them up, sweetheart. You no longer will be needing your services. So people watch what you say, moral of the story. Watch what you say, honey. Don't that old boy get y'all get, get y'all uh, all charged up, honey. Because you might have to apply for one of them black jobs. <laughs> like she gonna be doing. Anyway, that's what happened this week at, at the office. So yeah, that happened. Although me perfectly I don't like to see anybody lose their job I do not get any pleasure off anybody's pain anybody's suffering because everybody has to make a living and they have responsibilities that they have to take care of and it can be hard out here in these streets so I don't wish that on anyone but y'all just watch what you say to people honey you never know what's going to offend folk and please don't be making no racist comments toward anybody so yeah, that happened today. So her things are in the front lobby, honey, for Monday. So I'm just opening up. I told y'all about this many a time. I just got one of the Fenty 
SPF moisturizer. And this is a refill because I don't like to run out. This stuff is good. It works well for my skin. I really, really like it. Twist up. Pump out. And I normally put this on in the morning before I apply my makeup. Put my glasses trying to act like I can see. Honey, I can't even see the camera. It's just a square. Let me put my glasses on. <laughs> so, yeah, I hope you girls had a good week. In spite of all, I hope you had a great week. What do y'all have planned this weekend? Now, y'all, it is November. Tomorrow will be what? The, the 10th? Y'all done start your Christmas shopping yet? Y'all have y'all buying? Y'all decorating? Because, honey, now will be the time. I think there's so many sales, honey. Remember when Black Friday just used to be the Friday before, the Friday after Thanksgiving when you would, you know, cut your coupons and, and look at all the store circulars to see where you want to go and wake up like three. I remember me and my sister-in-law used to do that. Of course, back then we lived in Florida. We would come up here for Thanksgiving, spend Thanksgiving with my in-laws. And then Friday morning, we, I mean, Friday morning, we would get up two, two o'clock in the morning, get hot chocolate, and we just go. We'd be gone all day, come home at like eight, nine the next, like Friday, Saturday night. They used to be so much fun. There was not all this shopping online and all the kind of stuff like they have today. And that was the best time. You know, everybody was like, Merry Christmas. You know, um, happy holidays and the Christmas music playing in the store and everybody was so friendly. Oh, what are you buying? What are you here for? People were just so friendly and so warm and so welcoming and it didn't matter what color, what race. When you, We were all out there trying to get the deals together and we were all out there, you know, snuggled up and just in the stores and we been on all these chairs. That honey, that is gone. Honey, that has left the building. People are, honey, are rude. They are, honey, that's why I'm online. Send it to the front door, maybe show up. Amazon man, uh, post office man. Just I'm opening up y'all. <laughs> y'all already know what it is. But yeah, that, that was, I wish we can go back to that. I'm so glad they made this in the big, the big container. So glad. When I tell you, Riri, get all of my going. I know I'm putting one of the little kids, just, just the baby. I know I at least got his uh, private pre-care covered. Me personally by myself. I know I, I done took care of that at least for two years. I'm sure. I'm certain of that. And then this is the um, the new primer. So this is the uh, hydrating hydrating mattifying primer. So I hadn't I hadn't tried this one yet, but I just read the reviews on. No, I'm lying. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. This is my second my second bottle of this. So this is empty and then I want to replace it. I really like this stuff. It really lays your foundation on nice and it lays very well. So I picked up another one of these because I'm telling you things I like. I do not like to run out. So I picked those two things up and that's pretty much it. So that was the good old days when people could go out, go shopping and you, Black Friday was really on a Friday. Now Black Friday honey starts. It almost started before Halloween this year, didn't it? I'm like, Jesus, honey, can we have to let the spooky people have their day before we come, you know, pimp walking up on their day or crip walking up on their day? Honey, Black Friday almost came before Halloween, but here we are. So, like I said earlier, we're not, I'm not buying much. Uh, I do, I'm looking for, like, home decor and deals and stuff like that. That's what I'm looking for because I'm not, I'm not buying a lot. So yeah, guys, I just jumped on really quick. So I'm not going to be on here long tonight. This is just a quick little hop on. Just hopped out of the shower, put on my little toner. Got my little goodies. Um, and got my little Friday night special. I love this stuff though. And if you really want to hype this up, let me put y'all on. You watch, you don't want it, you don't want alcohol. You don't want that in your system. Oh, no. But this particular night you don't. You just want a nice little something, a little bubbly. Get you a bottle of this and get you some of the peach. Um, it's not a stomps. I think it's like a mixer. And drop like maybe a teaspoon down in that. Stir it up and get you a dehydrated round peach flat and throw it on the top. Girl, you can't tell me that you're not your favorite restaurant downtown in your favorite city. You're not, you're not going to tell me that. And it's only 
apple cider, peach, peach flavoring, and a flat dehydrated peach. Presentation, it's the way it looks. It tastes so good, it's refreshing, it's not heavy. You're not gonna wake up with a headache or bags under your eyes. Try that. Matter of fact, I'm gonna make that. I'm gonna make it on the video and show y'all. It's just so pretty, it's aesthetically pleasing. It tastes good. And not gonna wake up with no headache. So yeah, just want to come on and say hey to y'all again. Y'all, my new people, welcome. Thank y'all so much. I had a nice little boost and I'm so excited about it. I hope, you know, now that y'all are on the second video, if you return that you like what you see, I'm so happy to have you here. And let me just give you a little quick intro because again, for y'all who have been with me for a while, just pause for a moment. Let me just welcome the new people and tell you what my channel is all about or what I'm all about because you may not have gathered it from my last video. But what my channel is all about, I am the creator of MAPS, which is Middle Age, Purposeful, and Stylish, SIS, M-A-P-S, that's what the MAPS stands for. And I create content for, I create content for all women, but my girls, my heart, my heartbeat, honey, since I'm a middle-aged woman, is the middle-aged, stylish sis that refuse to be old, refuse to be old and weary and dreary. She's just living her best life. She likes all the things. She likes all the things. She likes fashion. She likes home decor. She likes all the things. My husband called me a child from downstairs. Hold on. Honey, we're recording. How can I help you? <laughs> you want to say hi to the vlog? Oh, why are you being stained? <laughs> say hi, vlog. Hi, vlog. Oh, you suck. What's up? Hi, vlog. Oh, worse. <laughs> Okay, I'll be downstairs in a minute. Give me five minutes. All right. If y'all don't have fun with y'all husband, I don't know what to tell you. My husband's a flat out comedian. Well, y'all know I'm crazy, so that pretty much seals the deal on that. But um, I was saying, those are the things I focus on, but my heart and my intentions are, are to really motivate and inspire all women that no matter where you are in life, no matter what challenges you face, no matter what you're going through, no matter what you've been through, no matter if you're divorced, no matter if you're single, no matter if you're widowed, no matter if you are a single mom, uh, a blended mom, no matter where you are, no matter what you do, girl, you matter. Your, the things you've been through, they matter. Your, your desires, your dreams, your hopes, they matter. And we always level up no matter where we are, no matter what size we are, no matter what area, no matter what space we're transitioning in in life. We always believe in ourselves. We talk ourselves up and we go through, right? I'm not saying you don't have no days where you have doubt or where you, you know, we, we have our bad days and we feel bad about ourselves because you're human. You're going to have those days, but we don't stay there, right? So that's what my channel is all about. It's all the things. It's home decor. It's vlogs, honey. It's wellness. It's all the things. So welcome. Just the fact that you clicked subscribe. I'm happy to have you here. I hope you enjoy yourself. I want y'all to get to know each other in the comments because I'm trying to build community. So that's what it's all about. So Thank you for being here. I just want to jump on and say that, honey, it's Friday night. I'm home. I'm showered. My skincare is done for the night. All I'm going to do. My husband is downstairs. What's on the menu tonight? Glad you asked. We're having, he wanted fresh fish. So we're having fresh fish tonight. And uh, I don't know what else. Probably, I don't, I don't know what else. Maybe a little side salad or something. Just something very light. So I'm going to go downstairs, chit chat with him for a little bit. And uh, we're going to eat and talk about our week, our day, and do all the married things and I will pick y'all back up later. All right. Tell it to my heart. Tell me I'm the only one. Tell me I'm the one. Yeah. Good morning. Happy. This Saturday. Honey, I woke up with Taylor Dane on my heart. On my, not on my heart, on my mind. Remember that song? Tell it to my heart. Tell me I'm the only one. Why I woke up with it on my mind? Honey, don't ask me. Anyway, it's Saturday morning. Gonna get some coffee. Just open up the little side blinds, honey. But it's time for coffee because I desperately, desperately need a cup. So let's do that. I got some new bar stools I want to share with y'all. I'm so excited about because I have one of these bar stools. Wait till I show them to y'all. Wait until I show them to you, girl. They are beautiful, in my opinion. 
Yeah, so coffee. That, I got a new vacuum cleaner. I need to open it, honey. It's been in the box for a week. My husband has not opened it up yet, so I'm going to do it because he went out this morning to go and kill baby deer. Honey, why you want to do baby like that? My husband is an avid hunter, so don't y'all come for me in the comments. Honey, somebody got to put meat in the freezer. No, I'm just kidding. I don't even eat them meat, so. Well, deer nuggets, but I digress. Anyway, I'll meet y'all in the kitchen, child. Time for my coffee. I love a good cup of coffee. And you know what? People can say what they want to say about an espresso, although I love my espresso machine. Honey, I, we use the curry mostly all the time. And, I, and I've had this curry for at least seven years, and it still works perfectly. But honey, I do keep her clean. I do descale her. You know, and I have had to have the pins cleaned out where the coffee pours from. So you take a toothpick, go up in there and clean that out and open it up because sometimes grounds can get stuck in there. Flush it with some hot water and vinegar. Flush it again with clean water. Girl works perfectly, honey. She's like a time mix. She keeps on ticking. And we keep on serving her up. <sighs> but yeah, y'all. So today, like I said, I'm going to see now. Now this is the, oh, let me show y'all. Because I think I showed, I told y'all before. I can already tell it's going to be a, it's, I'm not going to like it. This is the, um, now, listen, I love me a good coffee cream, honey. I love a good coffee cream. And now, they had, it was a specialty one, the Rice Krispie Treat by Coffee Mate. Me and my husband must have bought up every one they had in the state of South Carolina. And we used them all. I didn't know it was going to be, it was just a seasonal item or I would have bought more. But anyway, this frosted gingerbread, see how it's flat? See how that's flat on the frother? When, when the creamer is going to be really good, it'll be, it'll be thick and it'll be all the way up to here. Just from the foam and the thickness. This is watery. See that? I don't, I can, so I can already tell I'm not going to like it. I may be wrong, but I'm, I'm thinking that I'm not going to like it. I know y'all didn't ask me that, but I'm just, I'm just giving y'all some little... Oh, well, y'all know, know y'all. Can y'all see that? It's pouring pretty good. I'm funny about my coffee creamer. Honey, that's weak. It's looking a little weak this morning. Smells amazing. And coffee cream is five and six dollars. Why? Why? Oh, oh, girl. Okay. I stand corrected. It's very gingerbready. It's giving very gingerbread. My mom, Madre, you will love this girl. It's very gingerbread. Y'all, my mama. Y'all know little Debbie, the gingerbread, they only come out during the holiday, the gingerbread, them gingerbread frosted little individually packed little Debbie cookies. If y'all see them in your area, buy them, because it's hard, it's hard to find them up here. My mama loved them. So girl, you would love this. Ma, you love that. Get you some, girl. Y'all, speaking of moms, when I tell y'all my mom is funny... Laugh at the wrong reason, honey. We'll be at a funeral and my mama finds something to laugh about at the funeral. But when I tell you I love that lady, I love her so much. We all love our moms, but I'm so blessed to still have my mom. I'm just so blessed to have her. She means so much to me. She's so funny, honey. Oh my gosh, she's funny. She's funny now. She get on my nerves sometimes too, and I'm sure I get on her sometimes too. But that's my girl. I wouldn't trade her for the world. All right, let me get over here clean this out and I'll talk to y'all in a minute. Y'all have to keep these clean. These rubber things here, I take these out, soak it, clean it, because it will get gunk all up under there. So 
these bands that are on, especially on the frother. Please take those off, soak them in hot water and um, cleaning detergent. Well, I mean dishwasher detergent and keep them clean because you don't want all that sour milk that gets mildewy up in your coffee. So it's very important that you take these bands off and keep that clean. Because um, you'll be drinking some nasty coffee, baby. But yeah, y'all try this. And if y'all have any creamers that you really like, except for no hazelnut, honey. I don't do hazelnut for nobody. I do not do hazelnut. But if you have a seasonal creamer that you like, drop it down in the comments. I would love to know. Or something that maybe a, a, a Christmas concoction that you make, a Christmas something, a specialty drink, a specialty tea, specialty hot chocolate. Drop it down in the comments so that the community can try it out. So we want to share. We want to share over here. Y'all, this is good. Seriously. Mm-hmm. Mm. Speaking of honey, I won't know it won't be today, but that nail reserve nails, this the same. Look at that. This stuff. Now when I tell you, if you want the gel polish that's gonna hang on, this 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 stuff gonna hang on to Jesus come back. They doing something over there in your reserve. Check my uh, in my bio. Check the link for your percentage off if you want to try it. But you can use this with your gel polishes, with your acrylic nails. This stuff is not coming off. This is on my natural nails. But the reason why I'm saying all of that is because I, I'm waiting until I get my tree up and my decor up. But girl, it's time for me to get my nails done again. It's time for me to get like nails, nails, like a little bit of length. So maybe I'll go, stop Monday on my way home from work. And get a fresh set because they need to be done. Or maybe Wednesday. Whenever I'm done with my Christmas stuff. Mmm. Rim my mouth too soon. The gingerbread is gingerbreading, boo. Go. Mm. This is my favorite thing. A quiet Sunday morning home by myself. Minding my business. Talking to y'all. That's a good Saturday. So my goal is today is to put my Christmas stuff out. First of all, I do that. Clean up the kitchen. Well, it's not really, it's not dirty, but and like mop up those things, sweep up. Get these bar stools up. And then get my Christmas stuff out in that order. So that's what I want to do today. Not planning on buying any more decor, which I said I think I stated that in another video. I'm gonna use what I got, honey. Traditional yet again. I just think the prices of the ornaments and things is just it's just over. I remember you can use a, I remember you used to be able to get a whole pack of ornaments for like five dollars. And a good quality pack, like ornate. The unusual ones, maybe $12 a pack. Now, the ugly ones are $12 for four or six. No, I'm not doing that. Mm -mm. Nope. I'm not. And I'll be right on West Elm and Great and Barrel ordering four ornaments for $85. <laughs> I'm not doing that. We be, and, why, and we do it. But yeah, but my plan is, like I said... Use what I got. Y'all, I have so much. Oh, my God. In my storage closet, it's so much stuff in that room. I hate going in there. I'm going to be honest. If you open the door, you know how you just kind of push everything back in there and close the door? It's so much crap in there. It's so much stuff in there. A lot of stuff needs to be thrown away, donated, trashed. I got to get in there and clean that room out. Just thinking about it gave me a headache. It's so much crap in there. My husband said, why you got so much stuff in there? I, I got so much. I got pillows, decor pillows I don't no longer use. Holiday pillows, pumpkins, cornucopias, all that stuff I no longer use. I need to take that stuff to the Goodwill. But um, I just hate thinking about it. So I'm going to finish my breakfast. I'm going to finish my coffee. Excuse me. And then I'm going to chat with y'all in a minute. Okay, and edit some stuff on my computer. So that's what I'm getting ready to do. Honey, the birds are singing outside. The wind is blowing. The wind is up. 
because you know my husband like I made fresh fish last night and it's a little fishy smell in here like a, a fried smell I hate that air the house out and give it a good clean downstairs and pull my tree out I'll talk to y'all later and yeah, honey you can y'all tell I got 55 things going on at once but trust me they're going to get done why do I have a notification here who's trying to say what that's me why is this circle red Oh well, talk to y'all later. changing my intro to um, my channel for the holidays so I'm right now I'm just trying to select some music to lay over the intro so that's what I'm doing right now sometimes it, it can take a minute to find the right song Yeah, so sometimes it can take a minute because I love music. Y'all, I'm a big music fan. I love music. Um, and I try to find the right fit, like the right song. Like, it's, it's something that can take me a long time. So, y'all, any, any of your YouTubers, any of your YouTubers that you're watching, the bigger YouTubers, the small YouTubers, it's a lot of work goes into this, especially if you really care about the way your brand looks, about the way you present your channel. Um, it's. It's a lot of work. Sorry, guys. My daughter and everybody keep texting me. But yeah, it's a, it's a lot of work. But it's but it's good. honey. In in the words of Kamala Harris, I can hear her voice right now as she was on the campaign trail. It's hard work, but hard work is good work. Hey, I love. Oh, she said, "It's hard work, but hard work is good work, and we like hard work." So yes, honey. In the words of Kamala. Harris, any of your YouTubers that you watch, honey, it is hard work, but it's good work. I enjoy it. And I hope y'all enjoy it. And again, you know, if y'all didn't show up to watch my channel, no matter how small or how big, none of this would be worth it. Because in reality, we really do all of this because when you guys click on it, it's so many things buying for your attention. But for you to click on the video and watch for any length of time, I appreciate it. But that's how that's that's why I do it because I want it to be an experience. I want you to enjoy it when you come there. I want to. I want I want it to be an experience. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. So let me finish doing this, guys, and um, I, and y'all see, I haven't done a boss stool. I haven't done anything. I've been sitting here doing this for the last few hours, enjoying myself this Saturday morning. And I said earlier, honey, Saturday, Sunday morning, girl, child, this Saturday. I don't know why I can't keep the day straight. I just can't keep them straight. Mm -hmm. 
No. I started off wrong, honey. Oh, I know what I want to do. That's my type of vibe. Little trap, little Christmas music. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. What you y'all like that? Y'all like that vibe? That track hit? Hey. Okay, girl. That hit, that track hit. Get away. Get away. No. Oh no, wrong channel. I had to stop what I was doing because mm -hmm. my husband just came home and because he's so sweet, he bought groceries because y'all, I hate going to the grocery store. It's not something I enjoy. I used to didn't mind it so much. I guess I just don't like a lot of people. So that's inevitable because people are everywhere. So he goes to the grocery store. He buy everything. When I go to the grocery store, I just pick up what we need right then. So not much, nothing much to see here, guys. Um, just gonna put these things away. Still haven't took the Christmas tree stuff down yet, but that's coming. So I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all see what time it is? 10.27. Is the tree up? No. Is the bar stools done? No. But getting ready to open one. My husband told me, wait till tomorrow, wait till tomorrow. But you know I can't wait. To be the most versatile cooking material out there because you get the heat retention of cast iron and you get the easy maintenance of enamel. But this vessel in particular, like Mary said, is the best of all of the worlds that Lake Say offers because you're getting both the smooth sand enamel off the handles, but you can't put it together. Y'all. As you can see, this is from Amazon. This is the cutest thing. I told y'all, I love coffee mugs. Love. Love me a good coffee mug. Wait for it now. Wait. Do, 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 do. Y'all, look at this. Isn't this, look at this. Oh, this is so. Oh. Look at that. It's the aesthetic, it's the style. I love this. When I saw this in cart, this is what the delivery, <clears throat> this is one of the items when I was telling y'all that they said they delivered it in some of the receptions that the front office had signed for it. Lies, honey. This is, this is what I was waiting for. This is what was delivered, God knows where, but they sent me out a replacement. I love this mug. I love the aesthetic of it. Oh, this is, he this is like heavy. Love it. Oh. I can hear my husband right now. 
not another freaking coffee mug in my mom. But I love a good coffee mug. That's all. I just want to share this. I, and look how well it's packaged, too. Look at that. So the cup goes in here. And then it goes right in there. They had it packaged really well. But y'all, this is so cute. And if you enter coffee mugs and unique, interesting things like I am, I will have this linked. So you guys can check it out. And it was, I don't even think, I think this may have been $12. It wasn't that much either. So I will link this for you guys. Um, so if you would like these, and it comes in different colors, but of course I opted for the black and white. Or cream and black or whatever you want to call it. So yeah. Let me grab some sills and then I'm going to open this one bar stool. Y'all, when I tell y'all I have been looking for a bar stool for some time, I have been looking, searching high and low for bar stools. And the bar stools, I, I was going to get some bar stools just to get bar stools because I'm so sick of the ones that we have. Because when we moved in here, I just got some bar stools because my family needed, you know, we needed somewhere to sit at the island. So I just purchased the bar stools and I said, okay, I'll pick up some more. I'll pick up, I'll pick up the ones that I really, really want. And, you know, fast forward a couple of years later and I, I hadn't done that yet. But nevertheless, I was still looking. So when I tell y'all sometimes it's good to wait when it seems like you're trying to find something you can't find it or what you want is sold out and we get disappointed, honey, wait. Because when I tell you that these are the bar stools that I really, really wanted, but they were expensive, right? I kept looking, kept looking. I was just online a couple of nights ago, just laying in the bed online. And these bar stools popped up, y'all, and they were on sale. And when I tell you, I almost broke my finger trying to smash them, get them in that cart and check out. Oh, my goodness. So let's see if they're giving in person what they were giving online. So, oh, I'm geeked up. I'm excited about it. Guys, it's three o'clock in the morning and I literally just finished putting the stool together but man is it gorgeous I love it I am so glad I waited I'm telling you sometimes when we wait and we think that man I missed out on or something or I didn't get it sometimes that's the universe saying you know what I'm gonna let you get it at even a better price or something better than what you originally thought you wanted so look at it I love it I love it. it. Did take me a long time to put together the next ones, the next two. My husband will put them together tomorrow. But you know, I couldn't wait. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Love, love, love. Yep. So that is a bar stool. Um, in the next video. I will show you guys all three at the island um, and I know you guys say oh what about the video to your office well I'm waiting on a piece of artwork that I ordered that's on back order but it's supposed to be here I think the week of Thanksgiving so I'm waiting for that piece to come and y'all it is oh when I found it I was like uh-uh I, I, I'll explain it to you when I get it but that is going to be coming up soon so please make sure you stay tuned turn you know turn on your notifications for that um i'm still working on that so and then you know some more home decor will be also introduced into the video um, into my videos because that's what i love home decor beauty um things like that so more things like that will be coming on the channel but yeah guys it is two o'clock in the morning i am tired i'm going to go upstairs and take my shower and climb into my bed um, I want to thank you guys so much for watching again to all of my new subscribers. Thank y'all. Welcome, girl. Welcome. So glad to have you here. I appreciate you guys so much. Oh, thank you so much for watching. Until the next video, I'll see you right here at Nat McRitt Style.